Welcome to Understand. As a developer, I know that sometimes you just want to see an entity with a little context without necessarily jumping all over the place to different files in your editor. With Understand, you can get that context by simply pulling up the previewer. The previewer allows you to quickly pull up any entity separately from the editor doc so that you can get a better look at its context without having to leave or switch from your editor tab. In this video, we'll go over how to use the previewer doc to look at a function we want to refactor, as well as how the sync and prefer options work. To access the previewer doc, go to view in the top level menu and select it from the list. This will bring up the previewer, which by default appears attached below the editor. Now let's find a function I want to refactor. We can then use the previewer to take a look at it. So first we'll go over to the entity filter and search for it. Now when we click on it in the entity filter, it'll automatically populate the previewer where the function was defined, like so. Here we can quickly see that it returns a static void pointer and has two arguments, and that it was defined on line 174 of cache.c. Another case in which this would be useful is if cache store was an overloaded function, so the function was defined multiple times, I could click through them in the entity filter to quickly see them in the previewer and see which one I was interested in. So from the previewer, there are two ways to get directly to the relevant location in the editor. The first is by single clicking a location in the previewer and pressing the folder icon at the top of the dock. So let's do that. The second is by simply double clicking a location in the previewer. So if I scroll down a little bit, and double click here, it takes me directly to that spot in the editor. Once we're in the editor, we can actually start to refactor our code and fix the problem. Now let's go over the sync and prefer checkboxes here at the top of the previewer doc. Having sync enabled makes the previewer auto populate when you single click on an entity in any of the browsers or filters. For instance, if we go over to the project browser and click on a file, the previewer will populate the contents of that file automatically, as you can see. If we'd like to keep the contents of the previewer static while we go clicking around, simply disable the sync option first and the contents of the previewer will stay as you left it. So I'll uncheck that. And you can see it doesn't auto populate with the contents of the files. Okay, let me re enable that. So, with the prefer checkbox enabled, double clicking an entity will take you to the appropriate location in the previewer, but not the editor. If you'd like to double click an entity and be taken directly to the editor, disable this checkbox and you'll be able to do so. So, let's try that with a function. So, we'll double click this function and you see that it takes us to the relevant spot in the previewer, but not in the editor. So if we disable the prefer checkbox and double click another function, it'll take us to both the previewer location and the editor location. Here are a couple more examples. And we can see if we turn the sync option off, then when we double click an entity, it'll change it in the editor, but not the previewer. This was a short look at the previewer and understand. In this video, we covered how to access the previewer doc to look at an entity with a little more context and how the sync and prefer options work. For more information on this tool or anything else in Understand, visit support.scitools.com.